That new effort can't start soon enough. Hospitals are nearly overwhelmed. Walter Smith Randolph now with how local health care systems are dealing with it all. Coronavirus case numbers are stable in Southwest Ohio, but it's not exactly the stability health leaders like Tiffany Mattingly would like to see. We're stable way up here instead of way down here. <laughs> so I would say we're, we're basically running status quo right now um, with what we've been running since December. Mattingly says that's a good thing since health leaders feared a big surge after the holidays. Right now, hospital capacity is at about 85% across greater Cincinnati. But that number can be deceiving since there's a new baseline, which means new beds are being added. And unfortunately, our new norm um, is operating in at the height of our peak, and we have sustained that. Warren County is also dealing with an elevated level of cases, and the focus there is on vaccinations. They've given out 500 so far and expect another 300 doses this weekend. They're worried about vaccination skepticism. I think that as we move through the vaccination campaign and, you know, people know a family member, a friend, somebody else that's got the vaccine, uh, that they might become more comfortable with getting it. The health district is now shifting to how they'll roll out the next phases, but it all depends on what they're given. It's a dance at this point for us to be able to uh, know how many doses we're getting and how we can get it out. While health departments put their best foot forward and hospitals adapt to the new normal, these leaders remain hopeful that things will get better. Stay safe. You too. Stay masked. Be patient. <laughs> we'll get vaccines out there. I promise. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News.